How can you move when they're weighing you down? Oh, hey guys, just measuring out my sugar for the day. And I also got my stash for the rest of the year. When you're tied to the crown, yeah. You carry your burdens, heavy like gravity. Just let them go now. Hi guys, I want to show you what a typical person eats a day in sugar. So I'm going to take you through a normal day. First of all, we have, you know, of course, we got to have a cup of coffee with some cream and sugar. So we got that in here. We got that out. Now uh, you might go grab two Krispy Kreme donuts. Let's add two tablespoons of sugar. Tablespoon for each donut right there. That's your breakfast. Healthy breakfast right here. Perfect. Get your day started right. For lunch, we're going to go to McDonald's. We are in a hurry today. Uh, we got to get, get to McDonald's. We're going to get a meal. We're going to get a medium fry. Get the sugar on here. There we go. Looks delicious. Um, we're going to go with a quarter pounder. Boom. A little bit more sugar. You know, we're thirsty too. And we worked hard today, so we deserve a pop, don't we? There we go. Each can like this, 58 grams of sugar. That's insane. But, you know, we weren't quite full on that, so we're going to top it off with a frappe or a smoothie. They have about 70 grams of sugar in this. If you can see this cup, at least a quarter of that is full of sugar. Now, if you get the shake, you can have over 100 grams of sugar in a McDonald's shake. So let's add that to our daily total. Now, if that won't keep us going for the rest of the day, I don't know what will. Without your help, I won't even try it. I'm throwing a Snickers and a soda because you know what? We're low on sugar. So let's let's go ahead and dump. I'm gonna spill sugar all over the place. Let's dump this sugar in here. Total for this is 99 grams for a candy bar and a soda. 99 grams, which is uh, what is that? About eight eight and a quarter tablespoons. So. Looking pretty good there for the day. Then we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna have another soda for supper, and we're gonna have some pizza. There we go. Let's dump another 58 grams for the soda on some for the pizza. And now for my favorite part, dessert. We're gonna have a better cracker, warm delight, which contains 41 grams of sugar. We're also gonna top it off with some ice cream. So, let's finish our day off strong, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is your total for sugar for the day. Beautiful, isn't it? I gotta say this is taking me by surprise, but nothing surprises you before... Start your day off with a coffee with some creamer. The problem is this creamer, because it's fat free, they had to add sugar to it to make it actually taste decent. So this creamer, one tablespoon has six grams of sugar, which comes to almost a tablespoon of sugar total. Let's add that tablespoon. All right. Also, you have Quaker oatmeal because this is healthy. I mean, it has Bob Harper right on the back, so it's got to be healthy. Well, unfortunately, that has 12 grams of sugar. So let's add some sugar here. But I forgot too, you had an apple because that's healthy. So let's add some more sugar. And a little bit more here. And one more and our breakfast will be complete. Right? We're gonna go with a Greek yogurt and a Nutrigrain bar. Together, these things have 32 grams of sugar, which comes to two and a half tablespoons of sugar. So we're going to add that. We've got one and two and a half. All right, after the snack, we're going to head up lunch. We're going to go to Subway because that's healthy, guys. We're going to get a sweet onion chicken teriyaki, just a six inch. We're going to go with a Diet Coke. And we're going to top it off with a skinny cow 
chocolate fudge brownie ice cream. Total, you are looking at 39 grams of sugar, which comes to about two or three and a quarter tablespoons. So let's add that back in. So we got our lunch now. We're gonna go on to a snack, a, a midday snack. We're gonna go with the balance bar. Pretty healthy, except for 17 grams of sugar. So we need to add another tablespoon and a half of sugar to this. One Two. and a half. All right, so now we're going on to supper. We're gonna go with a lean cuisine meal here. Uh, most people pick these up, don't even read the nutrition labels because they say lean cuisine or smart ones or healthy choice or any of those. But if you look on the back here, this has 23 grams of sugar for this little thing. Oh, we're gonna have a salad too because, uh, you know, this would be a perfect combination with a salad. We're gonna go with a fat-free dressing, but remember, if it's fat-free, they added, oftentimes added sugar because they have to make it edible. So with your Lean Cuisine and your salad, your total grams are 30, 30 grams of sugar. So we're going to add another two and a half. One, two. And after dinner, we're going to go with this guy. This is a whole fruit sorbet cup. This is healthy, right? I mean, it's just sorbet naturally fat free that's awesome one serving of this has 36 grams of sugar and for the entire entire cup of this which i don't know about you but i could eat 148 grams of sugar which comes to 12 tablespoons of sugar for just this but we're only gonna need a serving because we're healthy so let's go with three yeah three tablespoons for one serving that's one two three and there you have it. That's your sugar for the day. Now I'm gonna give you guys uh, a healthy option where you can be full all day, feel satisfied, feel good about yourself, and get less than 20 grams of sugar in it. So first we're gonna start off with my egg bake. This is a pretty nice, nice sized piece of egg bake. And in this one you're getting four and a half grams of sugar, which comes to about one tablespoon. I'm gonna keep track here how much we have. This is one tablespoon right here. And then I'm going to ha have my green tea for breakfast. This is a great way to start your breakfast. Lots of protein. I add spinach into my egg bake, so you're getting a lot of fiber also. Then for a snack, I'm going to have a half a cup of berries, uh, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Those are going to be your lower sugar fruits, but a fruit is a natural sugar. Okay, so we're going to add a couple more tablespoons or teaspoons for that. Scrape here. All right. Then for lunch, oh, this is my favorite, guys. I'm going to put some lettuce on a plate. I'm going to eat as many peppers, as many raw vegetables as I want. To this, I'm going to add some beans. I got uh, black beans here. I got some chickpeas. I'm going to add about, probably about three to four ounces of lean beef. Now, I like to do chicken. Um, beef just was what we had at home for today. So I'm going to do about three ounces of beef. Add this to this. Of course, you can't skip the dressing, right? So I'm gonna add salsa. I'm gonna add a half a cup of salsa. Get a little bit of sugar in here with the salsa, but hey, it is actually less than a half a teaspoon. So we'll put a little bit more in here, our cup. All right, then for, then for supper, this is where it gets exciting. You know, we talked about pizza earlier. This is Bam's Pizza. And I'm not advertising for BAM here, but the nice thing about it is their pizza has two grams of sugar in an entire full thin crust pizza. If you add, um, you know, like the uh, red sauce, you might end up getting three grams because the red sauces usually have a, like just one or two grams per serving. So you might get a little bit extra if you have a red sauce, like a barbecue um, or a marinara, but pretty much next to nothing. I mean, two grams, all right. So we got about, there we go, a little bit more. We're gonna go with green beans. Yeah, no, one gram of sugar maybe for this whole entire jar here. And then for, for after snack, because I like my 
little snacks afterwards. I'm gonna go with a hundred calorie bag of popcorn. This has zero sugar in it. All right, so we went from having all of that sugar to this. That's how much you're eating in a day. It was about 18 and a half grams of sugar. It's a great way to start the day. There you are. You're gonna feel so good. And I want you guys to notice, most of our sugar was in the morning. So you use that sugar, especially the natural sugar, to burn it off. Oh, I forgot to mention, for snacks too, handful of almonds is great. Uh, Quest bars, which we'll show you a picture of a little bit later, is, is awesome. So find those healthy options to get you through the day and be healthy.